Ciao guys, they're Wood here. So today HTC unveiled at this conference at CES three different things. They're actually pretty interesting. The first one, a new HTC Vive Pro with eye tracking. Interesting. Second, Vive Port Infinity. Interesting. And the third one, actually the HTC Vive Cosmos, the first real competitors to the upcoming Oculus Quest. So let's discover them. Okay, so we have to start saying that this conference was a little weird because we didn't really have any information about prices, of release dates, uh, nothing. Uh, they were just talking about probably for enterprise to like make our investors how to invest in HTC. Uh, because as you might know lately HTC lost a lot of money last year lost around 40 million dollars uh, so it, they are in a very interesting position and now they need to gain again a little market and they're trying of course to like get to the point where they're again very interested in the market for VR and everything because that's their main part right now because the phone parts doesn't really work as well anyway so we're not gonna have so many information about uh, little stuff but we have a gonna have a generic thing and we're gonna try to extrapolate as much as info we can from everything we see uh, to start the first thing they start talking about and the first thing i want to share with you is about the HTC Vive Pro i that is pretty much exactly like the Vive Pro because they didn't change anything the only thing they added was an eye tracking in the front so actually the part we were talking about in the last video uh, about nvidia collaborating with htc so now everything makes sense it is all a big circle and we know that they were working to have fov rendering directly on the vive pro to use the resolution the vive pro even in a smarter way to use like less computing power from the gpu and to be supported by the RTX and everything with the DLSS because they talked about that too. And that's very interesting anyway because we have a, a nice resolution on the Vive Pro and if you're gonna be able to make the image more smooth, well, why not? Of course, it's gonna be welcome. Now, as I said, we don't know anything about it. We don't know the manufacturer, we don't know if it's from Toby or is a made by themselves or someone else we don't know the price at all and most important thing we don't know if that is like just a new headset because they call it like a new headset or if it's also gonna be like an accessory that you can add to the vive pro because i think a lot of people will be pissed if they don't give the possibility to just upgrade the vive pro that they pay like lot of money for it to upgrade just with the eye tracking on it because you have the space you have the type c port adapter that's needed probably so why not uh, i will acc really to clarify about it because many people also business parts they spent a lot of money and they invested a lot of money on HTC Vive Pro to have the latest and greatest VR headset and well now they find themselves in the situation where they don't know if that is going to be just a new headset or it's going to be an accessory that they can add to the investment that they did before so we have to know more about it let me know what you think uh, I think that if they don't do it well uh, there's going to be a big problem by the way second part was Vive Port Infinity if you don't know Vive Port is the this store from Vive where they have uh, some games the, the library is not very very big but they have some games and what you can do if you have a subscription is to play five of these titles every month for free depends if they are of, of course like uh, offered in the subscription or not so it's a little janky all the mechanism in there and what they're trying to do is trying to replicate what is their game pass on xbox what is netflix of course for like uh, tv shows and everything and put pretty much a price on like um, just a subscription that you're gonna have a monthly and to have like the access to all their library directly of like over 500 titles for like a price that is fixed and of course is unknown because again they didn't say anything about the price 
Now, Vive port, it came like a good offer for Black Friday and everything, but usually it's $9.99 a month. Uh, it could be a good deal if you have a Vive, if they had some good offers sometime, but I will not suggest it as the best uh, store, even if you can get in there also with the Oculus Rift, but it's great that they are moving in that way because the Game Pass for Xbox was a great success and a lot of people are using it because it's just easy to get in the game and try new games every time. It's great that they're making that for VR. The only thing I'm concerned about is like with Xbox, you have thousands of like titles that you can take from. Instead in VR, we don't have so many good titles that we can use in the subscription. Well, that all depends on the marketing for HTC. If they're good enough to like get with them all the best devs, well, that will be very, very interesting. So a good thing, but really depends there too. Like what is the price? What do we have to expect? Because if you have to spend like a $30 a month, well, uh, that doesn't make sense at all. They were saying, yes, it's good if you are if you were planning to buy 500 games, well, uh, you're gonna have a great value. Well, paying 500 games uh, right in front is already is very, very expensive. So uh, no matter what, so it's not really a good example anyway. And last but not least, and for sure the most like interesting part of the conference was actually the competitor to the Oculus Quest that they did unveil. And we're talking about the HTC Vive Cosmos. We saw like a picture on Twitter the, the other day that was like all blurred up because they didn't want to show anything, of course, and we were trying to create a little hype and that's what we had, a standalone device that is gonna work with your phone or with your PC and uh, they're gonna have integrated tracking directly with inside out tracking like we saw in the Quest and we saw also in Windows Mixed Reality first. And that's very, very interesting. But for that, I really wanna move to the computer so we can see together some images and try to talk about a little, uh, the little details that they didn't talk about it, of course. So let's get to the computer right now. Okay, here we are on the computer. Here we are with the, with the Vive Cosmos on the website. So we can already see in detail something about it. So this is the device itself. Like the design is very interesting. It's like um, all in our plastic shells. And uh, these cameras are actually for the inside eye tracking because they're gonna use the same tracking that used the Oculus Quest or Windows Mixed Reality, as we said. But the positioning of these uh, side cameras is very particular because as you might know windows mixed reality uh, the inside out tracking uh, doesn't work very well when the controller are very close to your head and you want something on the side because when you use the bow or when you aim with the with your like rifle and everything but in that position well that would be very very close so I don't know how they're gonna solve the problem for the tracking in that way. It's very particular, but we are gonna have to see because nobody can try it yet. And uh, I'm very, very interested in it. You can also see over here that you have a button from the, uh, for Ohm that is this new like a Vive uh, reality anyway that they're doing, but let's see together this trailer. And here we are. Not really a trailer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh, pretty much like going over all the different things. Uh, so as we said, we're talking about a new tracking system, the inside out tracking. So, and they're talking about the clear, clear graphic, uh, the sharper screens yet. So probably gonna have more resolution than the Vive Pro. Uh, we're gonna have to see. What very interesting actually is we're talking about RGB display. So RGB, as we saw on the Oculus Go, is very good for readability. So, and also on the Pimax is very good for that. So we have to see, is this a OLED or if this is just an LCD like the other. Uh, minimal screen door effect is maybe using an anti screen door effect like the Odyssey. We will see. Uh, right now, we don't have any information besides very like marketing stuff, of course, to create hype. But we know that we have 6DOF controller. So 
these two controllers and actually i have some picture later that are very interesting they're gonna work exactly like the, the oculus rift exactly like uh, windows mixed reality exactly like the htc vive for 6 dof so you're gonna be able to have your hands directly in the game now the strap is very easy uh, all the device is uh, made to be easy like the idea for htc is uh, because the htc vive was hard to set up and use this has to be the easiest thing ever and so they went for the halo style that's as we know is the easiest thing to put on it's like pretty much a hard hat it's very very easy uh, these things don't look removable you have the dial on the back and a very nice thing we have the flip up screen this happen as you can see over here like in windows mixed reality you can flip up the screen and that's something that i really really like i wish more manufacturer was using that were using this because it's just great that we want to if you want to talk with somebody just flip it up and you are directly back in uh, your real reality from here you can see the strap a little better the halo style very similar to what we've seen already and we also have these uh, very similar to the audio strap clip if you look they are exactly the same look at that and uh, of course, uh, we're talking about HTC, so earphone sold separately. So they're not gonna be included in the box. Included in the box, we're not gonna have audio, we're gonna have to buy it after. I don't see where the cable are going. Uh, we don't see any connection over here, but there has to be a cable because how this thing will work. Now, these are the controllers and are very very interesting because they're very very similar to the one from the oculus quest actually i made a picture that i put on twitter um, and <laughs> this is pretty much the comparison we have the oculus quest here and the uh, vive cosmos over here as you can see same button placement pretty much thumbstick over there we have the triggers actually here we have two triggers we have the rb button the rt button if you're familiar with xbox or r1 or r2 if you're familiar with playstation and then the grip button that you can't really see in this now uh, people will say oh it's a ripoff of the oculus design well probably actually it is um i'm not gonna lie they are very very similar and there has to be a reason uh, but i'm really happy about it because in this way we're having like a standard for the controllers they're all very very similar and for devs it's gonna be easier to develop programs and games for different system because they interaction will be exactly the same so i'm really really like this kind of thing um, this ring is very interesting uh, the effect that they went with the light for the tracking is very particular and it actually looks very very good it looks like tron uh, and uh, I really like it to be honest it's particular uh, footer proof with modular customization now that is the most interesting thing these we don't have main information we don't know if this is gonna have inside a processor or not we don't have any information about it but what they said and what you we saw also in the trailer is that you're gonna be able to connect the phone you're gonna be able to connect the pc so probably you're gonna have a cable probably a virtual link cable so a usb type c that is gonna run down and you're gonna put it with your phone directly or in your pc you're gonna be able to use it like for pc vr if you want or for a mobile vr like is the oculus quest or is the oculus go and uh, that's just what i was hoping in the oculus quest and i hope that this is gonna shake a little the situation because as i said in my oculus quest like first impression review well uh, is something that uh, will be very very nice we have a usb type c there just give me the possibility to connect it to the pc as well because it has a good tracking it has a screen that is better than the oculus rift well that will be pretty much in the quest a rift 2.0 but mobile first and this could be a htc vive 2.0 mobile first now it seems like they don't want to talk about it like uh, htc 2.0 but well uh that's the idea that we have if it has more resolution it is more comfortable it is easier to use why not uh, that would be a different shade but it will be very very interesting now uh, also we have ipd adjustment you can see the knob on the right over there and uh, the lenses are exactly the same 
like the HTC Vive, they're not changing that, so we're always gonna have the same visuals. And uh, yeah, this is the situation so far. Very interesting. Now there are still a lot of questions about this headset. We know pretty much nothing uh, and that's pretty pretty weird for like a presentation because you should give like some specs at least and we don't have it everyone is trying to figure out what this thing is like road to vr uh, upload vr they don't know as well uh, they just take some pictures and it's not we're not able to try nobody's able to try it yet is an interesting concept i hope that it's gonna come out in the right way also with five port we really need more content with us the five focus denizen have a lot of content right now and that's why probably they went for a design that is very similar to the oculus quest because they know that they're gonna be able to rely on the support that it's gonna have the oculus quest uh, from all the devs that are gonna try to port everything to mobile vr really looking forward to knowing more about this and of course i'm gonna keep you updated as soon as we have more info about it and there you have it guys this was my video about the conference for htc let me know are you interested in that are you gonna wait now for the vibe cosmos instead of the quest what do you think do you think that it's gonna create again this big competition that there was before uh, between the Oculus Rift and the Vive or they're really different market and everything. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Also, uh, do you use Vive port? Like, do you think there's something that interests you if, if they make this offer better? And uh, what do you think about the eye tracking for the Vive Pro? Are we gonna be able to have it as an accessory? Well, let's see together what we say in the comment below. For now, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.